Good evening, everyone. I'm Lucia Dame Clark of the County Clerk of Bear County. We oversee 27 municipalities, unincorporated Bear County. We're not only in charge of San Antonio, we work with Windcrest, Alamo Heights, Castle Hills, and so many others. I was elected in 2018. I was the first woman ever elected. But prior to that, thank you. Prior to that, I'd been with the Sheriff's Office for almost 22 years. So I saw that there was an essential need for digitalization, archiving, digitizing, and also preservation. Coming from Bear County and living in the rural area of the South Side, I'm in Elmendorf, Texas, I saw that the governments of our business was disconnected from the community. There's lack of transportation, there's lack of internet, there's lack of bandwidth, there's lack of any kind of services to the unincorporated Bear County. When I came into the county, I kept my staff in place. I promoted supervisors and managers to chiefs. Who has knowledge more than your own operation? Coming from five sheriffs myself, I actually said, I'm gonna promote people from the county clerk's office who never had a voice at the table. They were actually supervisors and managers, but they never made changes because nobody listens to them. So they actually consist of 33 years, uh, 23 years, uh, 24 years, and I have one that's been there nine years. I'm gonna take you to my website. As you know, the county clerk is where you get your DBA, doing business as an assumed name. That's where you start as a county clerk's office. During the pandemic, the county clerk never stopped working. Other county clerks across the state of Texas, they stopped because they were facing the worst pandemic than Bear County was. Luckily, I came in with experience along with my staff, so I wasn't on the job training. Within the first year in office, we built the records on the run. The mobile unit that goes all around Bear County, it costs you no money to park. You walk up, you walk in, and you get your services. As a county clerk, I have 15 departments, 19 courts, two off-sites, and then two mobile units. The mobile unit was the first of its kind. We got a local, state, national, and international award. Thank you. So I'm gonna take you through our website. Being the first Latina ever elected, what happened was we first went and walked the whole departments. I told my staff, walk around and observe, listen, communicate, and see what the county clerk's office is missing. What I was very upset about and very disappointed, being a 70% Latino community, there was no front counter translation on any kind of information in Spanish. How sad is that when we're county government? Within the first three months, we went ahead and we translated all our documents from English to Spanish. But what I did notice is we're a very diverse county. We're like Houston. There's a lot of Asian community, Muslims, uh, Italians, and El Salvador, you know, from all over the place. If you look at our website and you go to the far, that side in the corner right here, your Google, I told my uh, BCIT team, the IT team, I want you to add 51 multi-languages to our actual website. So if I go to who speaks, what are the language other than Spanish? Puerto Rican? Puerto Rican, do we have? French, how about French? French. French. We, do French. we have Navajo. So if you go to the website now, what you can do is you can have it translated into your language. Why do we do that? When you're doing business with the county clerk's office, you're doing a DBA assumed name, you're recording power of attorney documents, you're doing a marriage license, you're doing any kind of probate work, any kind of criminal, civil, anything to do with the county clerk's office, you should have the ability to print a document and take it to your legal advisor so they can give you some information before you record that document in the county clerk's office. When you do any kind of business and you don't know what you're reading and you don't know what you're filling out, then how do you know you're doing the right thing and putting yourself in liability or you know jeopardizing your own properties? As you know, the county clerk, you can go back to the English because I'm not gonna be able to read that. <laughs> so as you know, the schedule for the mobile unit, this is actually our project manager who is Eddie Pachado. He's been with the county going on 24, 25 years. I stole them from the district clerk's office. <laughs> so this is the records on the run. If you ever go to the county clerk's office, look for the, the running man, and then you're gonna go in here. It stations itself all over Bear County. You walk in there and you do everything that you need to do at the county clerk's office at the mobile unit. It goes out five to seven times a month. We come out on Saturday and Sundays, once a month since 2019. Because a lot of us are doing small businesses and if we miss work, we lose money. So why not offer you services on a Saturday or Sunday once a month? 
So we've been doing that since 2019. As you see here, we just came to Justin Rodriguez's, Commissioner Justin Rodriguez. We were set up on Guadalupe Street. That's right there by the Alasana Apache Courts. That's a very underserved community. There's a lot of people who are trying to start a business, but they don't know how. They don't want to walk into the courthouse because they either are scared, they think they're going to run for warrants, they don't know what's going to happen, they just want to start a business. Parking is very expensive. We charge, what, $5, $15, or $20 an hour. Construction. And you're always trying to rush because you want to go pay the meter because you think you're running out. So now you can park anywhere, just like on Guadalupe Street, and we partner up with many elected officials. We go to all four precincts. So I'm gonna take you over to here. As you can see, when you visit the mobile unit, you can record your military discharge paperwork. How many veterans do I have in this room? Raise up your hand. All right, thank you for your service. Yes, thank you for your service and thank you for your dedication because you signed a blank check. My father served in the 50s and 60s. My sister did 22 years. And I really appreciate everything you do, but you're not appreciated enough. So you record your DD-214, that's something that's done nationwide. So the county clerk's actually here in Bear County, we record it for free and we provide you with two certified copies. Well, we realized that in New York, New Jersey, Nuestas County and Galveston County, they were doing a good little Thank a Veteran program. And the Thank a Veteran program is free for you as well too. So as a small business, what we actually did is we kicked off our Thank a Veteran program that actually provide, you wanna take them to the Thank a Veteran program? I want you to take down this information and go to the Bear County, if you have your phone, you're gonna to go to the Bear County Clerk's website. What this does is what I've seen is a lot of our businesses are not able to give discounts because inflation and of things that are taking place. Now, we wanna help market your business for free on our website. All you have to do is sign up for it and it's free. We'll market your business here, so if you open up the food and restaurants or professional services, your business will be located here for free. So when he's talking about free social media, free this and free that, we are offering you that information and that marketing, that advertisement for free. All we're asking you is to provide the veteran with a small token of appreciation. And actually this business is actually here. She just signed up today. Where are you at? You wanna stand up? Give her a round of applause. Yes. So she just signed up today and we're very happy to see that, you know, people are taking advantage of this. The Thank a Veteran program, what we'll do is he's gonna show you an ID. The ID will be given to the veteran after you record your DD-214 or your separation paperwork. That ID is gonna represent who you are, your branch, and you'll take it to a business or you'll call the business. And if you have an e-commerce business, how many of you are working from not a, store, a storefront? E-commerce? Okay, because it's expensive, right? Buildings are expensive. It's getting more expensive to actually have a storefront business nowadays. We'll give you a digital little marketing thing to put on your website to give you a way to market the business we have. So I'm going to show you the cart, the actual cart. Do you have the Thank a Veteran cart? It's not the cart, but we got the blue shirt. We don't have the cart. You don't have the cart? It's not the cart. So Thank a Veteran program is very easy. Take the information. If you want to take a picture, take a picture of it and you are gonna offer them whatever you want to. If it's 5%, 10%, you wanna do free marketing for the first time that they sign up with you, you wanna give them a free taco, you wanna give them some coffee, we're okay with whatever you wanna give them. We're just here to give you free marketing uh, at the county clerk's office. So that's gonna be one program. Another thing that we also have is gonna, Monday. I just have a clarification uh -huh. question. You don't have to be a veteran to advertise in here. No. But, but the, but if I put my company there, then I would want to offer a discount to a veteran. That is correct, yes. So you don't have to be a veteran to sign up for the actual program as a business. But to record your DD-214 and get an actual ID card, you do have to be a veteran for that ID. So thank you for the clarification. But you don't have to be a veteran, so please sign up, take the information. Also, how many people own a house? And have you recorded your release of lien? Do you like, have you paid off your home? Yes, have you recorded your release of lien at the county clerk's office? No, okay. You wanna get with your title company or either yourself and record your release of lien. Do me a favor, go back to the real property land records and you're gonna go to here. Since we came into office, what we've done is we offer a lot of services for free. You wanna see your property, your land, 
You can go to official public records. What does that have to do with your business? Anytime that you're buying a business or doing an uh, Airbnb, you wanna make sure you read up on the deed, make sure you read up on any information. Who does foreclosures? Does anybody do foreclosures or realtor here? No? All this information is free here. So if you wanna put, um, you wanna put your name? Mine? Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna see my life, people. Okay, so you can, you can put the deed, the first one. So nowadays, what you can do in the comfort of your own home, these documents are free. If you don't have access to internet and you don't have a ba uh, bandwidth, and you have to go to the courthouse, you can go to the mobile unit and purchase it for $1. Or you can get a certified copy for $5. What I ask you is please sign up for the property alert. It's free. What we're seeing now that a lot of people are stealing properties right under your feet. There's mechanical liens, tax liens, all kinds of liens. Say you're not paying your HOA you're gonna get a lien on your property and they're gonna sell your house right under your feet. If you're getting a medical a lien that's being put on your deed, you don't even know that's happening. I'm gonna tell you, even my husband didn't even know. We had a medical lien that was put on my mother-in-law's property and luckily we took care of it, but we had no clue, and I'm the clerk. We had no clue, but luckily he went to go check his information and there was a lien on the property. So this right here is called a free property alert. So if you're gonna open a business, if you're gonna buy some property, I am asking you, it's a free service, it's called a, a property alert, and what it'll do, it'll notify you when somebody is actually filing some kind of documentation at the county clerk's office. As county clerks, there's 254 county clerks in the state of Texas, what we're doing is we're collaborating and working together. There is no county clerk for me to work with here in Bear County. There is a city clerk who's appointed in every municipality. The county clerks are elected by you, the people, that's why I stand here in front of you, because you are my boss. So what I'm telling you is we are trying to add tools to protect your property, your information across the state of Texas because many of you do business in Guadalupe County and Camel County. You do uh, international business. So you're doing business all over the place. So what we're doing is we're getting smarter. We're trying to interlock ourselves together and do the same process to protect you as a constituent, as a customer, and as a person who's doing business or growing their properties or making investments in properties. Also, we're gonna go back to the page. What you see here is gonna be your marriage license. You can go to the marriage license. Susie, I have a Monday. On the property fraud, is it only real estate liens or is it like if you have bought a, a piece of equipment and they put a lien on your ass? They can put a, they can put a lien on your... It does. So if you go back to, let me just put, um, let me see. I know that as a banker, you know, you can't get a loan if there's a lien on your yes. assets. And so that'd be a great way for a business owner to check, you know, if there's an issue. And we're trying to convince you to check those. Yeah. So a lot of bankers, what I've noticed, I've talked to a lot of bankers, a lot of uh, small little loan companies, and they had no clue that this information was actually free or that information is there. Let me just put, um, just put, put Brian Clark, put Brian Clark, that's Michael Brian Clark. That's Michael Brian. We're glad that we have people like Lucy uh, come and B -R share information. B-R-I-N. So if you want to go back to our YouTube channel, you can see our past events. All of our speakers are excellent. We only, you know, allow excellence here. So here's Brian Clark. So I actually have the probate office as well, too. So I have the probate office, civil, criminal, and all those moving parts. My husband, his, uh, his grandmother passed away. He inherited the property. So here he is, because she died in 2012. So I'm trying to see where the medical mechanical lien is at. So open this one, the first one. I think they already took it off then. So this is my house. So here is my husband. He's the independent, and he's the estate of Juanita Roar, who's deceased. So all that information is at your fingertips. There's no reason why you should have to go to the county clerk's office. You can easily just print that copy for free. Unless you need a certified copy, then you would have to go to the county clerk's office and get a copy for $5. We are working on an e-certification right now. Mind you, we've only been in office uh, for four years. This is my fourth year. We've done over 33 projects. Within two months, we added credit card accessibility. Who would have thought that was even important? They didn't even accept credit cards when I came into office. So we added credit card accessibility, we added the hunting and fishing license, we added the translation, uh, we added a lot more community outreach, we added uh, the, the pamphlets as well. We did QRs during COVID. We did contact lists. We did the QRs for everything. We did the fillable uh, documents where before you couldn't fill out the documents online. So we converted all those documents, go to your uh, marriage license. 
marriage license. Who's married? Who, who? Anybody raise your hand? Raise your hand. Can I put your name? <laughs> yes? What's the name? Are oh, you going to go to official public records? So if you're looking for your marriage license, I'm going to take you to the beginning. Free. You're going to go in here. You're going to drop down to marriage. Mm -hmm. name. What's your name? Is that you? Uh, <laughs> you have been raised in 1983? Yeah. Wow. So right now, he can print that copy. So you don't have to go to the, the clerk's office. You can print it from the comfort of your home. You can do research. You can go research all your grandparents, great-grandparents. A lot of times, people are looking for these documents. What we're trying to build, this is my next four years, guys. What we're trying to build for the next four years is better accessibility. Why are you waiting for county government from 8 to 5? Why are you waiting for county government for once, you know, one Saturday, one Sunday, an actual weekend? What I want to do moving forward is add kiosks to the public and partner up with some either groceries of HEB, Walmart, where you can walk up, pay your CPS, pay this, and then have a kiosk, and you can just push the button after 5 o'clock and pull those documents. Because then you have to go to Social Security office, and then Social Security sends you back to the clerk's office, so you're wasting your time. But I want to partner up with a lot of other elected officials because every elected official oversees their own responsibilities. Luckily, we have good elected officials right now that are willing to work with each other because we want to add more accessibility to you, the public. So I want to go to the kiosk and have a uniform district clerk, county clerk, and another you know, individual, and then print out your divorce, print out your marriage license, go to the Social Security office and go take care of your business. Because there's too many running around, there's too much running around, and there's too much gas that you're wasting, there's too much parking that you're paying for, that you're always at HEB or you're always at Walmart after five o'clock. So hey honey, let's go get our documents, let's go do this. Oh look, it's right here. That's my next four years. My next four years is ba basically bringing you more accessibility for you. But statutorily, because we have a lot of laws we follow, we have to change laws to make those things happen for us. And luckily we have a good group of people to help us, so that's another one. So that's one, and then we have the unclaimed funds as well too. If you wanna look, if you have any funds that are pending from the courts, and you've gone through the court uh, process or the court system, or you have any children that had any kind of funds pending in the treasury, the county clerk is a dual elected. There's only nine county clerks in the state of Texas that are dual elected. I am the treasurer and the county clerk. So I have a huge responsibility. You can actually enter your information, it's not coming up, but you can enter your information, do some research, put your name, and make sure that if you have any unclaimed funds, go search. Yes, ma'am. What about all these fees with the accessibility of the information and then um, identity theft? I'm just curious. So identity theft is a big thing. That's why we added the, the pro uh, property alert. We added pro I used to do that at the sheriff's office. That was my biggest responsibility. I was in charge of identity theft and making sure that we had registration of the correct tracking number for a criminal history. That was my responsibility. So my thing is, I want to protect your information as much as I can, but you have to add the tools to help us protect you. If you don't sign up for certain things to protect your information, then we can't protect you. Right now, I have elderly parents that are going on 55 years of being married. I try to protect them. If you're getting those phone calls that are telling you they want to do this, want to do that, question, always second question them because they're always trying to buy your property because there's all these investors and all that. You gotta protect your own family as well too. It's happening. But the clerk can only protect as much as we can. That's why we added the property alert for you. So make sure you do sign up for it. But identity theft, you have to contact your law enforcement wherever it happens. That's your first thing, because that's what I used to deal with. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Okay.